Alright, this is Solarian with Coupon Films, and what I'm showing you today is basically a walkthrough on a how to the Plants vs. Zombies uh, quest line. And wow, it's really easy if you're any kind of familiar with the Plants vs. Zombies game, but if you're not, I'm just going to give you a quick little walkthrough. These little orbs falling down into the sun. You're going to need those collect these you just right click them and it collects right down here that's your solar power or right up here now you need the solar power in turn to plant the plants and you only get to start out with one plant which is the spitter plant I guess it's called I don't know what it's called in the plants versus zombies I don't remember but first level is pretty self-explanatory I mean you just plant the stupid plants, kill the dumb zombies. But it's, I mean, identical to the PopCap game. So, I mean, it's a great quest, I think, in my opinion. Great refresh from uh, normal grinding quests. I mean, I much would rather do this than grind crap quests all day, in my opinion. But, basically, this is what you do for the first, maybe one, two, even three levels. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and skip forward a couple levels to show a little bit more difficulty. Okay, I just finished the first level here, and now you got to turn it in. It, it's just a, it's honestly, it's a repetitive quest line. It just each wave gets a little bit more intense than the last. I mean, you get great XP. You saw there at level 80, I got 24k XP, which is really, really good. I mean, for a quest that is so fun and easy to do. Now in this level you get something a little different. You get the sunflowers. And those things are the most important in my opinion. They're the ones that generate the sun other than the daylight actually dropping the orbs itself. Now my strategy has always been I line this first back row from sunflower to sunflower here. You want to line those all with sunflowers to get the most sun. And as you see right there, it just made a little sun, and here comes a zombie. It's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. I mean, once you get it down, I mean, it's just, you know, getting it a little bit more obsessive-compulsive, a little OCD about it, and just getting a system down and getting a little bit uniform with it. Now this zombie in this row right here that I'm highlighting, I'm actually going to let him walk through just to show you uh, what happens, because it's actually kind of cool in my opinion. I love it. Oh, see, wow. Actually, okay, this is actually somewhat different than the video game, than uh, the Plants vs. Zombies. See, in Plants vs. Zombies, they actually don't turn and attack the other row. Why, I don't know. They're simple. They're simple zombies. You can't really ask too much from them. But apparently these ones have a little bit more of a brain than Plants vs. Zombies. So, but anyway, what I was going to show you is these little green things right here that if anything happens to get through, you get one in each row, and if the zombies do get through, it just mows them all down. It's actually really cool looking. I mean, it's just mass zombie killing, so you gotta love it. And that one actually, I just noticed that did ha that one had a bucket on its head, just like the uh, Plants vs. Zombies. 
So it's, it's actually a nice little touch on, you know, the actual PV, PVZ game, so. But you can see it just progressively gets, it's the same over and over, but I mean, it just gets a little bit progressively harder each round. And you do actually end up getting more plants. Like this round, I got the sunflowers, and as you just saw me earlier, I picked up a bag, and that gave me the plant, the freezer plants. I guess that's the equivalent to the snow pea plant in Plants vs. Zombies, and, well, it's pretty explanatory what that one does. Freezes them. Now, what I've always tried to pretty much do is, this row, I pretty much put the freezing plants. These two... These uh, little poison spitting plants in the back, the sunflowers. And you see, it's just, it's just re very repetitive quest. I mean, once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. And you get one of these goofy little dumb sunflowers as a pet. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a fun quest, all in all. One of WoW's better ideas, in my opinion. And for you hardcore Plants vs. Zombies fans, the sunflower does in fact actually sing the, pl the pet you get. It's cool for the first time you hear it, but after that you never take the damn thing out because it's just utterly annoying and creepy as all hell seeing that little face come after you all the time. Alright, and then we just survived the next wave. So what you do is you turn it into the stupid goblin. Yeah, get another 24. So up to, all in all, we're pretty much up to 48k, 48k XP, and and you saw what I had to do. And now uh, this one, we're gonna get a new plant. There's six plants all together, and we get what's called the rock nut, and I guess that's the equivalent to the the walnut in Plants vs Zombies. Same pretty basic strategy. Back row, you're gonna do the sunflowers. Then you're going to do the spitters in the fir next two, then uh, the ice plant, and then you'd probably want to do, use the walnut or the rock, the rock nut as, you know, if needed, because it kind of doesn't have a long cooldown, but it's not short either. It's definitely a good oh shit button. And you'll notice every once in a while it just starts raining these little solar balls. What causes that, I don't know. And this little orb on the ground, I'm really not sure what that's about. I don't know yet. I have not seen any description in game what it's about. So I can't really tell you that. Alright, come on. Now, if you really wanted to be, like, overly cautious about it, I guess you could do the two rows of sunflowers as it progressively gets harder, and then just move everything up one row. That's one other way of doing it. Yeah, see, there we go with the raining orbs. Now, again, I don't really know what causes that. I really don't. You would think the zombie would just walk around, but apparently not. Again, like I said, simple creatures. I 
Oh, I did not mean to place that thing there. <clears throat> oh well, can't hurt none, I guess. Yep, and here we go with the raining orbs. And we'll put a rock nut in front of him. And unlike the Plants vs. Zombies, which I actually like this about this version, in the Plants vs. Zombies, if they're actually on the square, you couldn't place a, a wall on the square that they were currently standing on. You just weren't allowed to place it. This one, you've actually, they, well, here, I'll show you. They actually turn around and they attack the wall. Like, well, he didn't do it, but. But if you catch them in time, they will actually just turn around and attack the wall like that dumb, dumb one did. It can get it. It is a very tedious quest, but, I mean, it's fun in the long run. And it's actually repeatable after you've completed the, the chain, and it's just obnoxiously hard after that. I mean, it... I've never failed on it, but, I mean, it's very, very easy to... Always makes me nervous about when they give me a ton of energy right before a wave. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and skip forward a little bit. You can pretty much get the gist of this wave, so. Okay, we just survived the next wave, so I figured I'd turn the camera on and show you what the bag actually looks like of the next plant I guess you would get. And let's see what we got. Oh, the tentacle. Because, you know, you cannot have a WoW game without some giant tentacle. But the tentacles, in my opinion, are one of the best, if not the best, uh, plant in this little version of it. I mean, they just... I mean, it's it's sheer entertainment to see this thing pick up a zombie and just womp him around a couple times. And then just fling him like a little rag doll. And you can kind of see right here the defense line I have. I mean, you got the little sunflowers in the back working their ass off. You got these guys right here. And then you got the slowing right there. And then up front, I just placed the tentacles. I mean, you are not going to get through that. So that's basically the, the lineup you're going to want for the most part. And then just kind of add more tentacles or, you know whatever you need. And this little thing I wanted to point out right here, this little map, that's the indicator on how close you are to the final phase of uh, of it. So you got to turn it in and complete the quest line. Or well, not the whole quest line, but the one you're currently on to the last boss. Yeah, the one downfall about the tentacles is they're actually the weaker of the plants that I've noticed. They can they don't take very many hits, but then again, it's probably because they're so damn overpowered. I mean, they just pick anything up and just smash it around, and then they fling them up in the air just to add insult to injury. But basically, if you can manage stacking your solar power, I mean, all you need is one line of the sunflowers and you're really you're, you're great and then you get these guys here these big these aberrations these guys they're not easy but I mean if you just keep your tentacle the tentacles up those tentacles will pick them up just like they will the other ones and they're really no no harm to anybody but if they do get through like this big guy is trying to they can cause a lot of damage Oh, get away. Ooh. No worries. 
libraries. See, and he actually <laughs> turns around to stop advancing to kill the rock. I mean, it's... St <laughs> See, and he just <laughs> picks the big ones up and just tosses them around. Throws them up in there and catches them. Uh, you gotta love the tentacles. Best plant in this entire quest line. Alright, now it looks like we're moving into the last uh, phase of this particular, this certain quest. So. Let's actually put another row of these guys. I guess the whole point of these little zombies are to get inside this little hut, which actually used to be the little internment camp over by Dalaran, where the Dalaran bubble was, which I'll show you on the map where exactly this quest line starts. And there's really no level requirement for this quest which is great I mean you can if you can make it out here at level one I mean you can do it so um, it, it's great for all levels not just high levels and we're waiting for no zombies apparently kind of funny this I've done this quest before on some other characters these they've updated the quest to actually have the real sunflower from the plants versus zombies they used to be these little stupid um, I don't know what they're called the little lashlings I guess that you always see running around in Goro they were those for a while and I guess they decided to uh, actually get the okay from the uh, pop cap people to use the stupid goofy eyed little sunflower and I really have no clue what we're waiting on so I'm gonna actually go ahead and stop this for now until the next wave starts okay and we're back apparently that was a big glitch and we I had to redo that whole level over but now we're on the next level and it's gonna be actually get progressively harder this is probably I think the second to last I'm not sure um, all I do know is I'm actually might do two rows of sunflowers I, I'm not sure yet First zombie in the middle. Yeah, I'm actually not going to do the two sunflower rows. Um, probably going to need this attack plants more than I am anything.
The one next, uh, wanted to point out this new plant. We also got the pumpkin bomb here. Now, that thing is a really good one. It's one of my favorites. It's, it's great for taking out little clusters of zombies. And I believe that's how you... The only really way to kill the last boss is with those pumpkin bombs. And that's about going to wrap it up for video one. Um, you can go ahead and check out video two. Go ahead, please, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll finish this up in video two. Thanks.